Lots going on in today's video, got lots to do. First off, we're gonna do a mow on the green, on the ryegrass surrounds as well, because man, it's starting to grow like crazy. Give the green a furt, as well as the ryegrass, because I haven't given the ryegrass a furt in a very long time. And actually, the green has been, it be four to six weeks now, so get that done. After that is we're gonna get up on the Kai Q, give that some pre-emergent and some insecticide as well to help prevent any problems throughout this season. And I mean, it's warming up, I'm loving it. Look, blossoms in the background. We're in shorts for the first time this season. Let's just rip into them in. I'm excited. Well, the ryegrass is looking pretty good at the moment, <laughs> looking schmick. So the third I'm gonna put out today is just my lawn tips mix. Can be the same on the green. Um, the spring the spring mix, I'm gonna put out some enhance in there as well, just to give a little bit of a kick of color. I know it looks like it's got ridiculous color at the moment, but we can push it a little bit more. And I got some guys coming here on the Saturday to hit some shots into the green. So I just wanna get it looking nice and lush and as good as it can for this time of year. So. We'll get a cut on the green now, which the green is still growing nice and quick. You can see that this morning I got some of the duck poo off there. Duck poo is a lot better than it was, like it's honestly so much better than it was, but there's still some ducks come down here and pooping on there when they can. But I just wanna show you guys before we start mowing this, how the areas I top dressed are going, especially that really, really heavy spot. So this here is the spot that we absolutely covered in sand and look how much that has pushed through. Like that is insane. Looks like the ducks have been here and had a little bit of a dig so I'll fix that up later but look at that definitely getting some growth at the moment like that has pushed through all the sand that's already so much more level so next week I'll give that another heavy top dress once that properly grows through I'll probably try and lift up over these areas too when I'm mowing so I don't get any sand in the reel and like these spots here like it's pushed through nearly completely there's just those couple of bare spots that were there before but we can actually probably mow over that now because the sand settled down a little bit lower and it's not going to get picked up in the reel and all the other spots look pretty similar to be honest but really happy with how much this is growing at the moment and how much it's actually pushing through sand so giving a lick of furt will push some growth with that enhance um, it'll allow me to do a top dress over the whole green probably next week, which will be good. And then do some heavier spots in those bad areas. So today I'm gonna give the green a double cut. We're gonna probably put some diamonds into it. So go a diagonal this way, and then go the 45 on the diagonal the other way to get it striping up. And yeah, I'm reckoning we're gonna get a, quite a bit of grass off today. <laughs> Lots and lots of grass off there today. Six, no, seven catches of grass. I really need to up the mowing now. Wowzers. It's looking good. Definitely needs a feed though, so we'll give it a feed in a minute, but I just want to fix a couple of problem areas I'll show you. So I have got a little patch of fusarium just here. So I'm actually going to plug that patch of fusarium. It's just scarring now. The disease is gone. Um, it's not active, but there's just a big scarring patch there which we've got growth coming back through and that will creep and spread out but I want to get rid of that because it's close to where I normally place my pin which we're going to place the, replace the pin limit as well let's take some plugs remove that nasty looking patch to the edge somewhere and then we'll change the hole as well time to take this spot out of here I 
that turned out pretty good. That will knit up like that little bit of sand there. In the next day or two, will not take long. And this spot here is already starting to grow out, but that will grow out. It's just nice to have it out of the way where you can't see it and nowhere near the pin. So that's why I've just moved it to the edge. This part gets sun all day long because the sun comes up here and goes all the way around over here. So that will repair very, very quickly. That looks just like I was not even there basically once that little bit of sand disappears. So I haven't changed this hole for a while, so it's pretty overgrown. Um, we're not gonna move it very far today. We're just gonna move it over there because whenever I hit shots in, that's where it tends to roll to. So I set myself up for a hole in one here. <laughs> Why wouldn't you, mean? Why would you not? Beautiful. It's even straight. Woo. So that's where we took the plug out, where the old hole was. Pretty good man, can hardly tell apart from a little bit of sand again around that spot. And this time of year, you don't see them within a couple of days because it starts growing so much. So satisfying though, changing holes. Might have to hit some shots into it later. So you can see that the kaiku behind me is starting to green up. All those scalp marks are starting to disappear little bit by little bit. So we're getting some growth now. So we're getting close to reno time. So since we are getting this growth and everything's starting to blossom, it's time to start getting out our pre-emergence and our insecticides as well. So let me just explain what those are. If you guys are new to the channel or haven't heard of them before, just so you understand why we do this to help protect our lawns for the season. So first let's talk about pre-emergence. So today I'm gonna to be applying some barricade. You can also apply something like Spartan, which is available on the website. Same active, just a smaller packet size than this one here. One liter, the other one is 500 mil. Just depends on how large your yard is and how much product you need. But what this is going to do is prevent weeds coming up in our lawn, especially those nasty grassy weeds that are hard to get on top of like paspalum, crow's foot, um, summer grass, which some people call crab grass, especially in the States, and a couple of other weeds as well, but they're our main ones that are preventing this time of year. Now, we applied around end of August, which is now, start of September, depending on where you live. If you're in a warmer climate, I'd be getting it out now. If you're in a cooler climate in Victoria, lower New South Wales, like where I am, you can do it towards the start of September. It's not really gonna be a problem, but it has been a bit warmer this year, so that's why I'm getting mine out now, just to really make sure we don't have any problems with that paspalum which we tend to get here. But you can also apply it in the autumn time, which is gonna prevent the biggest thing, is power annua, which is winter grass. I've had lots and lots of emails about winter grass over the last couple of weeks because with all the rain we've had about and some warm temps and everything, people have seen it in their lawns. That will actually die out in the summertime. So I'd recommend if you do have winter grass in your lawn, let it have its due course through the summer. And if you put pre-emergent down now, it'll stop it germinating more for a bit of a cooler season. But make sure to get your pre-emergent out. End of Feb, start of March, when winter grass starts to pop up again and germinate. So we put out the barricade of the Spartan before those products come up to prevent them going out throughout the whole of winter and germinating like crazy. I'd rather do that than use the post-emergent, which will knock down what's already there, because winter grass is one of those ones that is just super hard to get rid of. And honestly, I'd rather get in a pre-emergent program than using post-emergent and trying to get rid of winter grass that way because it produces so much seed head per year, like a stupid amount, that you're basically never getting on top of it with just knocking it on the head with a post-emergent. Now, Barricade and Spartan is gonna last you about six months. So you can get six months protection out of that. That's why we do it twice a year to cover ourselves for the whole season. Now, if you have some bare patches, like really big bare patches that you want to fill in, just spray around those areas just so they can allow them to fill in. That's what I did last season down the bottom here. Um, where there was a patch that I actually sprayed some Roundup by accident. So you just spray around those patches. Um, if you've got a new lawn, you can't really use Barricade or Spartan on there until it's at least a couple of months old, up to six months if you've seeded it. Um, if you've got turf, you can actually put down some Oxstar 
around like straight after you've laid it and it will help prevent weeds for up to about 12 weeks. So that is an option if you put turf down. You put seed down, unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait up to about six months nearly. So do not put pre-emergence around any time near where you're seeding after you've seeded until your lawn is nice and mature. Next, we're gonna put down some Acelaprin GR. So this is going to prevent grubs throughout the whole growing season. So the main one we're targeting at the moment is going to be African black beetle, which are those little curl grubs you will see in your lawn. They probably start feeding on the grass more towards end of October, November, and December. It just really depends on where you live. We need to get this out just as they're sort of planting their larvae in the ground or even before they do. So around your pre-emergent timing. And same when it comes to um, the the cooler months as well. You can also use this for a knockdown for armyworm as well. So if you see some armyworm in your lawn, you can actually use this and it will knock it down. But it's mostly used as a preventative for African black beetle. You can see on the label, there's a couple of other things it will prevent as well. Argentine stem weevil, Argentinian scarab, bill bugs, and then other insects, pests in turf, as the directions say. So our application rate for this, is 1.5 kilos per 100 square meters. I've got just enough here for this area here to put out. So I'll put my barricade down first, spray that on, put the acelaprin down, and then we need to make sure we water these products in so they get active down in the soil as well. Lastly, I've had this question a few times in emails recently. You can put this down before renovation. It's not gonna, your renovation and putting holes in your area is not going to have an impact in it unless you bring some soil in that has some weed seeds in there. That's the only thing I'd be worrying about if you brought some soil in with weed seeds in it. Then obviously we fill those holes up with your top dress material that can have some weeds germinate in it. So make sure you use some sand that is washed that doesn't have any weed seeds in it when it comes to reno time. Um, if you really are stressed out about it, apply half before reno, apply half, or apply it all after your renovation if you're gonna be doing an early renovation. Products all down, just watering it in there with my sumi soaker, which I need to get irrigation here, but the sumi soaker does a really, really good job. Nice and fine droplets, like perfect for these sort of situations because it doesn't absolutely flood it. You can run it for a long period of time, you don't get as much evaporation as well because they are such fine droplets. I just love that side too. Reminds me of a kid running through sprinklers and stuff. Feels like spring, bro. So, you may have noticed I'm wearing this shirt today story behind it. If you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know I'm a Liverpool supporter. The only reason I'm wearing this is because a guy called Jamie on Instagram said I would not wear one of these shirts if he dared me to, so I'm wearing it. That's all it is. It's pretty cool though. He actually got lawn tips on the back with 17 because that's when I started doing the YouTube videos. Um, so, hey, thanks for the gift, mate. I'm sure I'll wear it when I go for a run and get a little sweaty. Today we're putting out um, my lawn tips mix. So we're putting out my Nourish, Brilliance and Vitalize. We're also putting out some Enhance as well to give a bit of an extra kick of color. I always like to add the Enhance in there, just personally, because I like the color that the liquid iron and it gives and a little bit more of a push of growth. It'll just make this thing shine for when I've got a couple of people here on the weekend. Um, I put everything out at 200 mil per 100 square meters. So it's about a thousand square meters with the ryegrass and the green as well, putting the same mix over the whole area. We'll go over it in two directions. I've used about nearly 60, 60 litres of water as well in this spray here from BA Pumps and Sprayers. So, mate, this thing makes it so easy. You don't have to keep going back and filling up my sprayer when I'm doing a massive area like this. Um, so it's good. Anyway, let's rip into it. Let's get some colour into this. Let's get some growth into it. Let's get it looking schmick now that the weather's starting to warm up.
Oh, that is all done. Good to get that fur out, good to get everything out on the Kaikou lawn up there as well. Water it in with the Sumi. Just feels good to get stuff done, man. Springtime. Love it. Well, thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like that video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank <laughs> you.